welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. I'm back from my procedure. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just kind of waking up from all the medication. I think they gave me a little extra, but that's okay. We are good. And um, I have Advents to open and my pottery to show you. But first I got my order of sequins in the mail that I have, and I'm ordering some more. But here's one pack. These are iridescent little sequins. And then these are like flowers. I'm gonna make something for Valentine's Day-ish, like a heart sequins with this. And then I have these, and I'm gonna order some more. Sorry, I'm a little, a little burpy. Oh, I should put a hat on, a headband on. Right, isn't it time for a headband? I think so. Okay, let's start with pottery. So this is, I think everything I made at our uh, holiday hand building or festive hand building, they were supposed to be for gifts, but um, I don't feel comfortable yet gifting my stuff. So I just made things that I would enjoy and I made my mostly everything with a, with a Christmas twist. But first I made this little saucer, which quite frankly, it could be anything. And I'm so impressed how the black turned out. I don't have real good luck with black firing, but this looked good. Um, there's my maker's mark that I had made. I know, I'm still learning, you know, shapes and stuff, but this is a saucer and it'll, I'll show you in a minute what will sit on it. I had some scrap clay one night or one afternoon and I made these just little ornaments out of cookie cutters. I ran a cookie, a rolling pin over it that put shapes in it and then I just dipped it in this coppery sparkle and I will put some red bow on it and call it Merry Christmas. And these will go on my tree. So I made those and that was just with some leftover. Um, these are supposed to be like a cheese board. And then I ordered these transfers, underglazed transfers, and that's supposed to be a snowflake. I mean, I don't think it's a terrible snowflake. Everybody else made cheese, but I made a circle cheese board, and I think I'll use it at Christmas time to put something on. Or it could just be a trivet or a candle. You know, you could put a candle right on there and make it that. And everything I did, I dipped in like a white glaze. They're working on getting us clear glaze. The one thing with ceramic clay that goes in the kiln, whatever surface sits on the kiln cannot be glazed unless you use these stilt thingies, which they don't offer us. So I could have went over him with a little more black, but I like the vintage vibe. Everything here is gonna have a little bit of a vintage vibe. And plus it's just fun. Oh, we made these are first class. These are wall votive holders. So what this is, is actually a pawpaw leaf that I trace and everybody else made leaves, but I said I went with a, vent, a Christmas vibe. And then we attached this little shelf. I'm gonna put a votive, it'll hang. And then what this was, so the clay we use is more of like a brown terracotta but I had a stencil and I laid it down and I painted white slip over the stencil, like several layers. And when I pulled it up, it was white. And then she let us paint. So then I did it with the green and the red and then dipped it in white. And you can see around the edge where it's terracotta still, that's where we wiped off the glaze. So it will stick to the, her kiln if we are not careful. And then on this one, I did the same thing, but I used the snowman stencil and then I just painted it with different shades of blue. So these can hang on a wall. And I wouldn't, I mean, I think you could put a real terracotta in there. I mean, a real tea light, but I'll just get the, the votives. Um, yeah. So I made those, this was in one evening. I gotta put these somewhere so they don't get broken. And then, oh, this was from Haunted Hand Building. This was our last class there and I had a makeup and so she let me do Christmas. In the middle, the snowman and these um, pine are, they are what, 
it's like a transfer, but more or a silk screening. You lay it down and then you rub the paint over it. And then I painted it in. So it says Merry Christmas. And then I just did polka dots. Um, I think I don't dislike this at all. I should have gone in with some more white over his beard and stuff. And um, yeah, maybe the polka dots are a little much. I don't know, but it'll be fun. I just like it. It was fun. Like it, for this, for me right now, it's the process. Um, and then I made one evening, we did wreaths and I am distraught a little bit. I mean, it's fine, but my snowflake broke. It snapped, but it stayed attached. Um, yeah. So this is like snow covered. I did a bird, a 3d bird, some trees. And then these are supposed to be like snowflakey poinsettia situation. There is a hole to hang it. It's very heavy. So, I mean, like for decor, I will put a rope, a string through it, a ribbon of some sort, and maybe a bow, and then hang it on the wall. But I made that. And it's just a combination of cookie cutters, and this was a stent, like a, a mold for the bird. Yeah, so we did that. And then the last couple things we did is we took a class and we made luminary trees. So I attached stars to mine and I can put a tea light under here. And that's what the saucer is for to sit this upon. Um, but I can put a tea light up under here and it will glow from the inside. I did. I did put a quick coat on the inside just to protect it, but I love this. And the stars were all sh uh, cookie cutters. The little ones were a punch and the big one was a cookie cutter. And then I just went around and put holes in it and then glazed it. I think all my holes are open. Yeah. And then, so the night we did those, that's my two favorites I saved for last. The night we did these trees, we did them long and then you had to cut them off. Well, I don't know how to cut them off. And I ended up with a tiny short little one. So I made a little Santa. So this is a cone, same as the tree. But all I did is added some clay around here and molded it to be his hat. Put a pom pom, did a look at his little face. And there's some texture in there and then I poked holes. And again, I glazed him. I could have put more red under glazing. I'm still learning, you know, like how much under glazing and over glazing. And again, this was dipped in white. She'll have clear next class, I think, which will make me happy because I really enjoy the color and then dipping in clear. But he is also could be a luminary and I could typically set these out together right on a shelf or something. And I think they would be perfect. And then I just need like a little present or something. I don't know. And then the last thing I made, which was a favorite. I love this. I made a bulb. We literally made bulbs. So everybody else made these like, um, feng shui flower holder thingies where you made this ball and you put holes in it and as long as you got glaze on the inside you could put it holds water so i decided to make a santa i think i should have did the back of his head white i suppose but i even like i'm so proud of myself i figured out how to make it look like his hat was bent over so i don't know if you can see that in his beard now, because um, it has to sit in the kiln, I had to flatten the bottom and poke a hole. So, and there's no glaze on the bottom, so it doesn't, you know, ruin it. But so you just tap it and so it will sit up. I mean, I could typically or technically sit him out. Like I could put a bow or something up here on his hat to hide his hook or just whatever, and then he could sit, but I, he's a little heavy, so I may get an ornament stand for him for next year, but, and look at his little nose and eyes. I'm so proud of these, because, you know, it's, it's a learning thing, and I'm loving it. We just signed up for our next class, which will start in January, so that'll be fun. Let me put this down. 
So that was all the pottery that I made this season. All right, oh, my insides hurt. I feel like they poked me. We have cheese today for the 21st day of December. Guys, we are getting down to it. To the point where I'm having a hard time opening these. Because I've been ripping things. But that's okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. 21 cheese is Mediterranean Gouda. This has the pesto in it. And it was delicious. Okay. We only have two left. 21 and the 23rd. Maybe I'll save that for the 24th. But for today, I drank a lot of this tea yesterday because I was on liquids all day. This is uh, chai. Oh, I love chai. I'm going to have some today. And this is Traveler's Black Tea. So this is chai with black tea, so it is caffeinated. Ooh, I can't wait for that. I need some coffee. I had a headache um, because I was really sleepy when I came home. And I sat in my chair to watch TV and was out like a light until like 1 o'clock. And I think I had a headache because I hadn't had any coffee today. I mean, Sarah did stop and get me coffee. I did not spill it, and she did not record me. But um, what was I gonna say? I'm still medicated, guys. Coffee. So I hadn't had any caffeine, so I had. Just, I'm sipping coffee. My stomach is fine. It's all fine, but I need coffee. All right, Sarah Sykes. Where's my advent calendar? Today. I don't think I have any more present presents. I think everything is on the tree. Okay. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Yes. Everything is on the tree. Ugh, I'm dropping all my trivia questions. And I told her how much fun we were having with this. And on the tree, I think is mostly candy and which is fine with me. Okay, question. Oh, it's a Home Alone one. I don't really like that movie. In Home Alone, where are the McAllisters going on vacation? Aren't they going to New York City? Are they going to New York? Paris. Oops. Oh, maybe they live in New York. I don't know. I don't, I've only seen the movie, I think, one time. It's okay, but it kind of gives me stress. I know that's weird, but it's true. Oh, something's jingling. Oh, I got new earrings. Oh, I need to wear these at Christmas time. Look at those earrings. They're just a bunch of jingle bells. That is exciting. I'll wear these at Christmas. Um, oh, we have, let me move my decorations and my sequins that I made. I'm ordering some more in like gold and clear. I'm kind of obsessed, guys. Is anybody surprised? The 21st day of Christmas, the Woobles gave to me, oh, a Christmas stocking. I have a little Woobles Christmas stocking. I don't know what I'll put in it. Something. Okay, interesting. We will put that back. And, oh, Jesus. I gotta bring Jesus out so I can see him. It's 21st. Uh-huh. It's the Archangel. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Maybe this is showing how much of a heathen I am. All right, Jesus. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Day 21, feels like there's something in here. We love Prezi's, guys. 
trying to tell myself I don't need to order any more kits. But you never know. Okay. Ooh, hot chocolate. I'll bring that for Michael. And this is Swiss Miss Milk Chocolate. Perfect. I will share that. Ooh, pretty. This color today is Baker's Block. It is a dark brown, like chocolate brown. Pretty. And December 21st, hot chocolate. I love a good cup dur during, ugh. Let's try again. Hot chocolate. I love a good cup during these cold and dark evenings. I make mine with cocoa powder and sugar, add some molten dark chocolate in my soy milk, and sometimes I'll add a tiny spoon of cinnamon and a pinch of cayenne pepper for a bit of a kick. It will certainly keep you warm on a cold winter's night. And we are adding, I knew this because I saw somebody's, we're adding deer right here. That might be it, maybe. Oh, and a couple little hearts on, on this side. So deer and hearts. If I can get caught up, or I'll show you tomorrow where I'm at. With this, I'm obviously behind. Guys, I'm always behind, but today kind of put me very far behind. That's okay. I mean, it will be done. My goal is to have it done by the first of the year. I'm not trying to shoot for Christmas because it's the holidays, but... Ugh, if I could have it done by the first of the year, that would be great. Or maybe I'll be finishing on New Year's Day because I'll be home that day. But I'm also home all weekend, so there's that. All right, well, I'm going to get ooh, caught up on my Advent, and then I need to start working on my crochet things because I'm excited to do those. But I just figured that I don't really have enough time right now to do it. So I will take that into January and enjoy creating all the little treasures. So I'll just keep it out in the basket and I'll put all of my stuff in a basket and then come next Christmas, I can use them to decorate. So that is everything. I am going to order some more sequins and I need to get some good felt. I don't want the cheap crafting felt, but I also don't want super thick wool felt, but I know I can get a uh, fairly decent felt by the yard at Joanne. And I know I have some gray upstairs to practice on and make this like pink and gray. I wanna make a heart with these little flowers all over it for an ornament. And then, yeah, these also are gonna be for cross stitch finishing. I don't know, I wanna, I wanna bedazzle everything that doesn't move. Okay, I think that is everything. My boys are staring at me because it's getting close to their, yep, it's all getting close to dinner time for them. They typically eat around five, so they're hungry. Um, do I have anything else to share? No, I'm so, I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna take some pictures and share them on my social media. I know. All right, everybody, you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.